hoi hoi. So. On the 20th. Um, in the early hours of the morning. Punky passed away. My guinea pig Punky passed away. Now, I have every right to be upset about it. Because he was like my son, you know? And... Peachan's doing fine. He's doing okay. But he so clearly misses, um, Punky just as much as I do. I mean, it was his brother. Um, where'd he go? Oh, he was behind me. Um, he was two, going on three, judging from, that's judging from, um, the, uh, birthday that, um, we gave him, because I didn't know, like, we was never told what, when they were born, so, so, like, we just made up their birthday was the 1st of October, and then the day that I got them was the 14th of October, and so, he was most likely born before then, but going from, you know, the birthday I gave him, he would have been two going on three but he was probably three so he was most likely three years old um i i woke up a little bit late or I don't know if it's actually late. I can't quite remember what time it was. It was just, um, anyway, I sat up in my bed because I wanted to get some water and I, I looked over at the cage and, and I, I smiled because like I woke up sad. I, I didn't know what was wrong with me. I woke up unhappy and like it just, it was kind of normal because I have, Obviously, I have depression, so, like, some days are worse than others, you know? So, it was kind of normal to, to wake up sad. Um, but I sat up and I smiled because I saw Bunky laying outside of the shelter, because they usually sleep in, I don't know if, you, yeah, okay. The shelter, they usually, like, Punky would usually be sleeping inside the shelter, like, all the time, like, but, but he used to, like, sleep outside the shelter a lot, but recently he was, like, sleeping inside the shelter a lot, and the day before I didn't see him come out of the shelter at all until I went and checked on him and I, I, I lifted up the shelter and he started chattering his teeth at me, like, go away, and he walked out of the shelter. And he was fine the day before, he looked fine, but, but anyway, I, I sat up and I looked over and I saw him laying outside of the shelter on, on one of the wooden seesaws. There's only one in there now. There's only one wooden seesaw in there now. Because the one he was laying on is downstairs. I don't know if I want to get rid of it or not. Because he was laying on it and... I I don't know if I want to get rid of it or not because um when I look at it I just see him laying there whenever I look over at the cage from my bed I'll see him laying there um I'm going off topic a little bit no well, I know it's on topic but I need to get through the story um so I I sat up in my bed, how many times have I said that now? And I saw him laying there and I smiled. I actually felt happy for a moment because I hadn't seen him come out of the shelter, well, sleep outside the shelter in a long time. So I, I smiled and I was like, wow, 
he's actually sleeping outside the shelter and he's facing toward the bed as well so that made me feel really happy and so i called his name and he didn't budge so i was like he must be really really out of it so i got up and he still didn't budge like because the sound of me getting off the bed would usually make them wary of like oh no she's coming to pick us up because you know guinea pigs don't like being picked up and especially mine <laughs> especially isn't that right peachan he he's just eating peachan i love you um gonna try and make this uncut because I don't know if I want to edit this I feel like I can see myself being upset and it was hard for me to edit the um truth about like the story of Lisa video so I don't really want to I don't know I don't know besides on uncut videos more genuine apparently I mean not that I care about that like I don't know what I'm trying to say right now Ew, that was gross. Um, where was I? So I got up off the bed, and I opened the cage. Well, first I was sitting on the bed though, and I was peeking through the bars, cause like, in the back of my head, in the back of my mind, it's always a possibility. Because I know guinea pigs don't live a very long time. Their life expectancy is very short, so, I always dreaded the day but I knew that it would happen but it's always too soon no matter what it's always too soon um I um so I was looking through the bars to see, like, just look at his stomach and see if he was, like, breathing still. And I don't know if I was telling myself that I could see him breathing. I was... In my head I was thinking he's breathing, but my eyes couldn't see that, like... And I thought, nah, my mind's playing tricks on me. He's breathing. So I get up off the bed and he doesn't move. I open the cage and that would usually cause him to lift his head up or run away. He didn't move. So I was stroked him. So I stroked him. I stroked him and he still didn't move. And so, like, I tried to move him a little bit, and he, he still didn't move. So, Peach just poked his head out of the um, shelter as well. He was, like, looking. And in that moment, I was just like, no. I was just like, no. And I ran down the stairs and I told my mom to check on Punky. I was like, can you please check on Punky? And then she was like, oh, oh no. <laughs> my sister came upstairs, my mom came upstairs to check on him. And my mom picked him up out of the cage and he was just lifeless. And I, I just. I just burst into tears and I just kept saying his name and when I touched him I did feel like it felt cold like I felt his fur was really soft like usual but he there was like this cold like feeling <laughs> <laughs> but he was really stiff <laughs> I 
my mom handed him to me in a blanket for a while. She let me sit there and hold him. But it should never be that easy for me to hold him. He would run away from me way more than Pichan would. Pichan's a little more lenient with me. <laughs> but he... He would never let me hold him like that. Unless I'm like... I was like... Um... Like a week before or so. I was getting knocked out of his fur and I was singing to him and he was being really good. And I was proud of him and in that moment he would let me, he was letting me hold him. He was getting startled by the knots, but I just let, I just sang to him, stopped every now and then. And, and when he was getting too overwhelmed and I just sang to him and I told him how proud I was of him and he would let me carry on. So <sighs> he did like laying with me as well, but just. He, he's just, he was just feisty, you know? Like, not feisty as in, like, I don't know how to explain it. <sighs> but it would never be that easy for me to hold him. He would never be that still. I'm gonna, um, <sighs> okay, wait, they put him in a box, because mom took him from me and said, I didn't want her to take him from me, I really didn't, I just wanted to carry on holding on to him, I didn't want to let him go. But mom took him from me and she said, now you have to go to P-Chan. Cause P-Chan was in shock as well. He was running all over the cage, like trying to get away from mom. Like, cause mom was checking on him and he was just like, no, no, leave me alone. He would hide in the shelter, hide behind the wheel. He was really acting strange. Um, and she said you have to like let go of Punky now and actually go to P-Chan and take care of P-Chan because P-Chan's going through the same thing he lost his brother so I let mom take Punky and put him in the box and then downstairs they set up a little memorial type Thing, and she said he's not going anywhere until you're ready um but I don't know if I'll ever be ready so I don't know if those are the right words to say to me because I did move the pennies off the box and open it to look at him but I couldn't move the blanket out of the way because I just couldn't bring myself to I open the box because I wanted to see him I wanted to touch him but yeah, um, <sighs> I legit just washed my face and I'm gonna have to do it again. Um, <sighs> where was I? What was I saying? Yeah. I'm gonna finish doing, like, editing all of the, um, Peach and Punky guinea pig vlogs. I'm gonna put all of those together. The ones that I never put out, I'm gonna put out. Um, and I'm gonna finish making the Adventures of Peach and Punky shorts. Audio books. I'm gonna finish them. And then once all of the ones I wanted to do are done 
maybe that will be the end but I'm not sure yet I don't know if I want to try and keep keep going with that to like keep Punky alive in a sense because since I'm a writer you know writers can keep characters alive and the adventures of Peach and Punky Punky was one of the main characters obviously I mean the real the real Punky's gone but maybe I can keep Punky going in the stories but I don't know I don't know if I can I don't know what to do with that right now so if you have suggestions with that let me know but it was yesterday I don't know when this is going up but yesterday was the 20th the 20th of September um I don't know if I should carry on with those stories I'm not sure but yeah I'm gonna find all the uh, footage and stuff edit together the um, monthly vlogs that are kind of not monthly like but yeah I'm gonna do the guinea pig vlogs put those up the shorts the uh, audiobook shorts and take it from there take it one step at a time because this might seem like a silly video to make it might seem like a silly reason to be upset but I know people usually call their pets babies but they were my babies and I don't think you can understand unless you treat your pet the way I treated mine I don't think you could get it because the pets are family as well and these two were my sons Like they were the first pets that were completely under my care. My dog Luna, my mum usually takes care of her and I see Luna as a sister because she's a downstairs dog and so she doesn't come upstairs and like my mum feeds her and everything like that. She's in my mum's name at the vets. She's my dog, I see her as my dog. But I see her as a sister because my mom takes care of her. I see her as my mom's baby. But she doesn't mean any less to me because of that. You know, she's still my dog. <sighs> Almost losing her this year was horrible and then losing Punky. I'm just glad I didn't lose Luna this year because Peach and Punky and Luna are the main things that really like they're the they're the only things that can make me truly happy in moments when I'm upset. They're the only ones that can make me smile with without without fail. Without fail. They're the only ones are always there and can make me happy without fail like yeah I can sit and watch My Little Pony or something but it won't make me happy it won't always make me happy in moments where I can't focus on things in moments where I'm just upset and trust me that's a lot because depression is a big old fluff nugget um, they're the only ones that make me smile and actually make me feel like it's okay and every time I'd look at my guinea pigs I'd think about how proud I am of them and every time I look at Luna I think of how proud I am of her for fighting through what she fought through this year like she's had many medical scares but this year was the probably the worst for her because if we didn't get her help she was most likely gonna pass and I'm just glad we got her help um, 
yeah so this video is probably getting a little too long but I just wanted to put an update and if you see lots of guinea pig content suddenly flooded on my channel I'll try not to flood it but I'll try and piece in my own things here and there because I still have the video I filmed the day before yesterday with Can Can and I need to post that but for a while I am going to focus on just getting all of the punky content out there so it's out there I did it for him and yeah I still have the lacy mask video to make I wanted to do a lot of this Halloween content so I was gonna do that but yeah I'll try not to flood guinea pig content but you can understand if I do I'm in grieving right now I'm in a grieving process type situation and the thing is Pichan is the same age as Punky so he could pass at any moment as well Luna's an old dog she can pass at any moment as well and I already feel like I've lost a huge part of me because of Punky and so now that I've lost Punky it really is drumming on me that I can lose Luna and Peach at any moment and I don't want to but there's nothing that can be done about death there's nothing that can be done um I I remember saying to my mom when I was holding Punky because a few weeks ago I was questioning reborn babies I was questioning them because I was like doesn't this stop the mourning process a little bit I mean it can help it but people are going to become so obsessed with taking care of a reborn baby that they're not going to get over the baby or in some cases some people might not get over the baby and what about 10 years on are you still taking care of a baby because when you have a baby 10 years on that baby will be 10 years old so you you didn't sign up when you signed up to be a parent you didn't sign up to have a baby forever if you know what i mean so when does it stop and does it ever stop so I wanted to try and find people who have reborn babies and ask them questions but my brother said that that was pretty insensitive an insensitive thing to do so I kind of thought about it and I kind of just didn't with the search I just stopped I didn't bother asking around because I didn't want to be insensitive um, but I said to my mom yesterday while I was holding Punky, I think I kind of understand the whole reborn thing now because I did not want to let go of Punky at all. And I know that sounds, that can sound ridiculous to some people, but he was my son, so I don't care if that sounds ridiculous to people. He was my son, and Peach and my son. So I was like, obviously I can't get a reborn as a guinea pig. So I tried this morning to look for guinea pig beanie boos that would resemble Punky. I didn't find any. So I tried to look for plushies that resemble Punky. And there was none that were right. It looks like his patterning was way too unique. Like... Punky was way too unique. You've got the guinea pig blushies where they have like black patches on the side of their faces but a white line down the middle. Those are the closest. 
but he had a full black face, white body, and grey bomb. He was way too unique, and fuzzy hair at that. So he was way too unique, and I'm, I don't know. I, I never thought of getting tattoos before. I didn't want a tattoo before, but I legit, everything was going through my mind yesterday. I was like, how can I keep Punky with me? And I even thought about getting a tattoo. As crazy as that sounds for me, because I don't like tattoos. Like, well, I'm not against people having them, but personally for me, I wouldn't want something on my body that I can't take off any moment I want to. So, tattoos, like, they're not a thing for me. Just like piercings, I don't know if I'd ever want a piercing. Yes, I had my ears pierced when I was younger, but I don't wear earrings i don't want piercings my ear my holes are probably close it up like so i actually thought about getting a tattoo of either his name with angel wings or actually a guinea pig that resembles him as in a picture of him with angel wings but i i i'm against tattoos well i'm not against tattoos i mean I'm, i don't want me to have tattoos but definitely something I considered I I just want ways to keep him with me you know and that what that's what kind of makes me understand the reborn dolls a little more because I'm obsessed with dolls you, you 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 see this I'm obsessed with dolls so I'm always down to learn about more dolls and, I mean, I've always known about Reborn Dolls, and, like, I remember when I was younger watching a documentary about it, and thinking, that's cute, but then, years later, this year, I stopped and I thought, wait, doesn't it, doesn't it slow down the grieving process, for some people at least? Like, and how long do they take care of these dolls? Like, like, I, yeah, but... And I even, like, I compared it to having a life-size doll mannequin of my dad in the living room or something, just sitting there. Like, a realistic life-size doll of him. And I thought, I miss my dad, but I feel like that would be a little bit creepy. So why is it... So, like, it, it was just like, so why... Why is it okay for babies? But I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. Pichan, you okay? You okay, Pichan? I don't, I'm not sure what he was just trying to do. I think he was trying to push the wheel over like, he's been doing that a lot lately. I mean, he used to do it a lot, and Punky would flip the bowl of food all over the floor. But yeah. Pee-chan. I love you, Pee-chan. I love you. We can't really get him a friend um because even if we got an old guinea pig to be his friend like one of them will pass away and then the other one will be left without a friend because ideally you get two guinea pigs together so that they have each other when you are busy um but when one passes away and the other one's the exact same age, what do you do? Like, I don't know if I could go through what I'm going through right now multiple times. Um, what was that? I don't, I don't know if I could go through it over and over. 
I, I, I would always say that I wanted a guinea pig farm. That was my goal in life, to have a guinea pig farm. But after losing Punky, at the moment I don't see myself wanting any more pets at all. I don't know about him in the future, but I know it's just the day after he passed away right now, but in the future, maybe I'll change my mind, but right now I wouldn't really want... I wouldn't want any other pets. I mean, Luna's an old dog now. She could pass away at any moment. Pichan is the same age as Punky. He could pass away at any moment. I wouldn't want... I wouldn't want to, uh, you know. Yeah, this video is getting a really long. It's like an hour in now. Or just under an hour. No, we're come. No, wait, yeah, just an hour. I think we're on an hour. Um, I'm trying to look at it backwards because I'm looking in the mirror thing. Um, hold up. Oh, no, we're half an hour. Half an hour. Wow. I, I suck at doing that but yeah half an hour in um i think i talked about everything i wanted to talk about <sighs> pardon me um yeah um i did clean out the cage after he passed like after we we got Punky out and after we put him in a box I did clean out the cage so that the smell would be gone he wouldn't smell that smell anymore the you know the smell of death mom said he will smell Punky around the whole cage but he will smell just death on the uh, wooden seesaw that Punky was laying on and so that's why I'm iffy about putting it back because I don't want Pichan to smell death, you know, the death of his brother, where I don't want him to smell that, and I don't want to look at it and always see Punky laying there, like, even yesterday, just while I was holding him, looking down at him, that, those pictures of him, like, like, looking down at his face, while I was holding him, those pictures in my head were haunting me throughout the whole day. And seeing him through the bars laying there was haunting me all day the thoughts of he was fine yesterday were haunting me all day and yeah I'm I all I can do I can't do anything about the death no one can do anything about death. It's inevitable. But you can make the decision to spend more time with your loved ones just in case. You could pass away, they could pass away. You can make the decision to spend more time with them. Tell them that you love them any moment you can, like, yeah, I don't really have much else to say. Me and my little P are just in the grieving process. He's trying to, it looks like he's looking around for Punky a lot lately. It looks like he'd be looking around the cage, going in the shelter, looking around. even looked on top of the shelter yesterday which is um the spot that punky used to sit in a lot like when i was in the last room before this one punky would sit on there a lot and it, he even like peach and even looked up there to see like like what seems to me is like he was looking for him yeah So I guess that's it. That's 
that's all I have to say. R.I.P. Punky, I love you so much. Punky Nisha Thomas and Morris. The Punkinator. My little pumpkin. Punky Pine. Yeah. Boy, boy. So. P-Chan is acting up and I haven't seen him do this since his brother was here so I don't know what he's doing he's playing but do I have reason to believe that like he's playing with Punky I, I don't know Oh, 